is Sam Danes from Ardento here. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm bringing you a video to highlight five of the recently released features for Zoho CRM that you definitely want to get across in 2024 if you're a user of the platform. Obviously lots change in the software very regularly, but these are five recent features that I think will suit most people and be interested for most use cases in the Zoho CRM platform. So let's get stuck into it straight away. The first one that we want to look at is the improvements to the Zoho CRM web forms. So if you're not aware, um, under your settings area here inside of Zoho CRM, there is a feature called web forms. Now, web forms allows you to uh, produce external facing forms to capture data, um, maybe on your website uh, or a landing page, so that data can be captured from an external facing website directly into your CRM. So a lot of people that are using Zoho CRM use web forms to capture data, say from a contact us page or some sort of call to action on a website. It's a very common feature and most people using Zoho CRM would do that. So what are settings here? I've got a web to lead form just a really basic um, form that's capturing three fields from my leads module um, that I can then edit. And you go through the standard web to lead uh, building feature, you can drag additional fields and so forth. This is all fairly common and you've probably experienced this if you've used web forms before. Once you've built out the fields on your form, you typically go next and this is where then you would specify some things like where is this particular form going to reside on a website and how do I want the data to be treated inside of Zoho CRM. Now, one of the newer features which is exciting is You've got now details here on the action on submit. So previously this would only give you options to redirect to a URL like a thank you page or something, but now we've got options to do things like um, display as a splash message if I want to. So just a simple thank you, or I've got the ability to redirect to a Zoho created thank you page rather than like a, a custom external page. But one of the more interesting features is the ability now, once you hit save, and you would normally take this source code, is you can generate a QR code. So taking the form and generating a QR code to access the form rather than having to embed this on your website. Now, of course, you would still embed forms on websites. That's a very common feature to use. But if you're doing things like printing brochures or maybe going to an event and you want to be able to easily capture data to be stored in your CRM, you can now easily generate a QR code, download this image, embed this image on your brochure or even on your web page um, and people can scan the QR code using the normal uh, QR code functionality to hit that web form and then capture that data in your CRM. So a really nifty feature guys um, to generate QR codes from your web forms. So the next one that we want to look at, uh, the second feature that I want to focus on today that's been added into Zoho CRM is related to subforms. So if you're not aware, I'm going to come to my deals module here. I'm just going to open up a deal um, and I'm going to scroll down a little bit. I have here a deal subform. So a subform that you create a, a list of child records within a record. So I've got a subform here that just simply allows me to list products. Um, and when I add a product in my subform here, I'm pulling through the manufacturer on the product. Um, record along with the price. So nothing um, unusual here. You can see I've got a, a simple um, a simple aggregate field um, which is just summing up the total of the unit prices here and listing that as a total. So this is all features that have been available in the subform for a while. However, if we go to the customization options now, back to my deals module, choosing the standard layout. And here is the deal subform that I've added on here, which you can just drag as a field component over onto your record um, page. Here's where we add a aggregate field. Um, and this particular one here, if I edit the properties, it's just summing the unit price at the below. But I'm gonna add another aggregate field now. And this aggregate field um, allows me 
to aggregate based upon specific rows only. So usually up until this point, aggregate fields were just gonna aggregate or, or sum every row in my subform. Whereas now I can aggregate specific rows. So I can put criteria in there to say only output a total based upon the rows that meet certain criteria. So as an example in this here, I've got manufacturer, I'm gonna choose the manufacturer is and I'll paste in the MetBeat Corp um, value. And I'm gonna call this total here, MetBeat total. And I'm gonna hit done. So now I've got two totals, I've got the aggregate total, but I've also got a total here that is only gonna sum up those rows that meet the criteria that I specified. I'm gonna hit save. And so now if I go back, uh, use my recent menu and get back to my deal record, and I'm just gonna hit edit on this. Here's my rows. Um, and if I look at this now on the subform, I can see here that we have the product rows and two of the rows meet the criteria of the manufacturer being Met Beat Corp. Um, and now I've got a total of $1,300 here for the Met Beat total um, in contrast to the total of all rows. So really if you feature guys, if you're building out subforms with maybe some complex data and different criteria, and you wanna be able to aggregate subsets of that subform data. And you can do that now using a criteria driven aggregate form on your subform. Very cool feature there. The next one I wanna move along guys is around the ability to automate in Zoho Serum using workflows, but how they have now embedded a feature where you can trigger workflow rules uh, sorry, you can execute a, an event on a workflow rule that is automatically connected to Zoho Flow. So Zoho Flow, for those who aren't aware, is a integration platform within the Zoho platform. Um, you can use this to create connections um, to a wide range of non-Zoho applications and you can build out a data flow within the flow application to insert data, upsert data, create records, et cetera, in other non-Zoho related platforms, and of course, Zoho related platforms as well. But up until now, you could only really do this contained within Flow itself. You would have to build out these workflows contained within Flow, and maybe that interacts with CRM and another system, et cetera. What they have added recently now, if I go back to my CRM, I'm gonna have a look at this pre-existing big deal workflow rule. So workflow rules execute based upon some sort of criteria. So this one's executing on the deals module when a deal is created or edited um, based upon certain criteria and it sends an email called the big deal alert. Pretty common stuff. If you use Zoho Serum before, no doubt you're using workflow rules. However, now if I come down to action, I've got a new option called actions by Zoho Flow. And what this allows you to do is to call a specific flow action directly from a CRM workflow. So if you want something to happen, a big deal alert to be created, but I also want it to go and update something in say my Asana system, then I could build out a flow action, connect to Asana, make sure it's updating Asana and have that trigger when this Zoho CRM event occurs. So this is a really powerful tool now guys, which lets you extend the Zoho CRM workflow rules to other systems using Flow. Now, of course you can do this using a custom function or something like that, but this really does now maybe reduce some of that overhead, especially if you've already got flows connected, or maybe if you're not um, experienced creating custom functions in Zoho, perhaps using Zoho Flow might be a way to achieve this in a more codeless fashion. Now guys, one thing I do want to point out is if you don't see this option here in your CRM, you may need to just come over um, and have a look at the automation actions menu and then across to actions by Zoho Flow. Um, just coming to this area here and maybe either establishing an existing connection like I have here to Asana will then make that actions by Flow available when you hit that workflow. 
Um, so a super flexible, and super powerful feature here, guys, to trigger Zoho Flow events using Zoho CRM workflow. Um, really, sky is the limit there. The next and fourth feature that I really think you should be looking at and exploring in 2024 with Zoho CRM is the massive improvements Zoho have made to the export functionality. And this came out sort of late 2023. But probably, um, if you've been a longer time user of Zoho CRM, you've probably realized that exporting data from Zoho CRM has been somewhat limited. You are only able to export, say, 3,000 records from a module, and you can do that typically under the Actions menu when looking at the module. I'm on the Deals module here. I'm gonna export deals now, and we have a whole range of really great options available to us. For one, you can now export up to 200,000 records using this export function. So an immediate and massive improvement there. But not only that, I can now, instead of just having no option but to export the records directly from the deals module, I can export a specific custom view. So a view having that criteria to filter the data. Maybe I wanna look at just exporting my deals or exporting deals that were created in a specific period of time. I can now select that view and export it. Further to that, I can export based upon criteria. So if I wanna specify criteria, at the time of export, I can do that um, and build out that criteria directly before commencing the export routine. And further to that now, guys, I can choose to export all fields or maybe I only need a specific few fields in my export file. I can choose those specific fields there and begin the export. You can do this in any module including custom modules, this whole export process has been vastly improved, obviously allowing more records to be exported, but also being able to export based on criteria. Um, so super powerful and useful feature there that you definitely wanna get familiar with um, if you're an administrator or a user of Zoho CRM. And then the last and fifth uh, thing that I want to focus on as a something that you can start to explore in 2024 of Zoho CRM is that of email credibility. This is more of a monitoring tool rather than a feature, but if we go to settings and we'll cancel my export routine here and go to channels, email, um, there is a new area under here uh, which we would have under um, the email deliverability, which obviously if you haven't done this yet, you need to make sure that you have authenticated your domain with Zoho to make sure that you've got good email deliverability turned on. This is a requirement now within Zoho Serum to be able to send email using Zoho's standard email functionality. But we also have now this option called email credibility. If you are a high user of Zoho CRM and you're using workflow to send email out of the system or you're using the inbuilt Zoho CRM email functionality, now you can get some visibility over what is the credibility of that email being sent from Zoho. So over time, you're going to be able to get some sort of visibility as to whether your emails are being marked as spam by recipients or they're not being received. Um, or is there the type of content or the way that you're sending email actually being detrimental to the overall credibility of your domain and sending email from Zoho CRM? So obviously in this demo system, I don't have a lot, but I can see here my credibility, good, my score is good. And this will, will uh, update over time. Keeping in mind, this really is only going to be referencing those emails sent using the Zoho CRM email engine. So this is not going through campaigns or through your own email. Um, platform, Office 365, etc. It's really talking about those emails sent through Zoho CRM's email uh, architecture and things like workflow, um, sending email straight from the contact record um, as well. So this now gives you some insight into, you know, do we need, do you need to change or adjust your emailing functionality uh, or email style to make sure that your credibility uh, remains high when sending email from Zoho CRM. 
As a side note, it's been in here for a little bit longer, but now you've got a little bit more option to be able to modify the unsubscribe link. So obviously if you're sending email from within CRM, you need to be able to provide people with the option to unsubscribe from these emails. Um, but now we can um, have a look at the standard unsubscribe link. Um, or I can direct to a custom page if I want to. So this has been here for a little bit, uh, a little while, but it's something to keep in touch um, and understand how you can deal with that. So guys, email credibility now, great reporting that's available in Zoho CRM for 2024. So guys, I hope you said that was super useful. There was five features in Zoho CRM, brand new for 2024 that you can start using straight away. All of these features are available for across all data centers. I hope that was useful. We'll chat soon.